Good morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday, April 7th. Our opening hymn is Lead Me, Lord. Thursday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Mark W. Stamm. And our scripture reading is Psalm 31, 9-16. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also, for my soul has spent with sorrow. My life is spent and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I pass out of mind like one who have, is dead. I have become like a broken vessel for I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant and save me in your steadfast love. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Having empathy is the first step in the disciples' way of generosity. Today's reading begins, Be gracious to me, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. Here's a prayer offered in a time of stress and loss and spoken by one who is exhausted. That description may or may not describe you right now, but continue listening to the psalmist's prayer. He feels like he's been forgotten and plotted against. His sense of dread is all-encompassing. Even his fears and feelings don't entirely make sense. Perhaps it seems strange to offer this prayer as your own, although there may be times when it's exactly what you would pray. Either way, I invite you to imagine it as someone's prayer today. Here's a key understanding held by those who advocate for the use of the full Psalter, even its difficult parts. Ask yourself, who might be praying this prayer today? And then imagine praying it with them, perhaps with someone mourning the loss of a spouse or child, or with the victim of abuse, or someone with someone struggling to pay medical bills or to find the next meal. Invite the spirit into the process, both to enlighten your imagination and to help you bear difficult things, even your own wordless groans. Here is work the Holy One inspires in us as we prepare for the Holy Week journey, and we are able to do it because Jesus walked the journey before us. And with him, we can complete this prayer with confidence. But I trust in you, O Lord. My times are in your hand. Deliver me. Our reflection by Esther Knopfsinger is, Be still thy, my soul.
Let us pray with and for those who are weary and grief-stricken. Amen.